I believe the tech job market in 2022 will be different from the previous years because of the things that have changed dramatically over the past year and a half. So before we prepare for the next year, let's understand how the future market will work so you can prepare for the next tech job. In this video, I'm going to talk about the expected trends in the tech industry and what will be the most in-demand tech jobs in 2022. First up, we have the DevOps engineer. DevOps engineers will be in high demand in 2022. Why? Well, DevOps engineers perform critical roles in network security and deployment for organizations. As a DevOps engineer, you'll design and update deployment infrastructure. So your primary responsibilities will include scripting code, supervising deployment code, overseeing the development process throughout the project lifecycle. Being a DevOps engineer can pay you a handsome salary of up to $140,000 a year. However, that depends on your experience and skills in development. So if you want to work as a DevOps engineer, you must build skills in system administration, scripting and coding, teamwork and communication, and proficiency in automation tools like Jenkins, and hands-on experience with the most efficient DevOps practices. Next up, we have Cloud Architect. It's the era of cloud computing, and the next year is a big one for this field. If you're looking to graduate or looking for an area of study to pick up, I would highly recommend going for cloud computing subjects. As a cloud architect, you're responsible for planning cloud computing strategies for your company, and you'll also decide how to make cloud more efficient, secure, and robust, which means you'll need strong knowledge and background in networking, data security, and programming. If you look at the modern trends, most businesses prefer candidates who have skills and knowledge in cloud services, for example, AWS. Furthermore, if you have a skill set in service management, operations, automation, and cloud application scaling, you can earn up to 200,000 and even more a year as a cloud architect. Because you'll be holding a key position, you'll also need strong team building and leadership skills. Moreover, gain proficiency in a language like Python, Elixir, or Go if you want to make it as a cloud architect in 2022. Next, we have the programmer analyst. A programmer analyst designs new programs, writes documentation, creates flowcharts and diagrams. Understandably, you'll need strong analytical skills. If you've been a system analyst and have good skills in computer programming, this role could be ideal for you. Interestingly, the role of program analyst comes with experience, but it's still a good option for fresh graduates who have a command of a programming. If you have what it takes to become a program analyst, you can earn an average salary from 88,000 to more than 150,000 a year. So what does it take to be a good program analyst? Well, you'll need to specialize in debugging and troubleshooting information systems, have a CS or IT or similar degree, proficiency with C, C++, or Java, and a firm knowledge of core programming concepts. The next job we'll talk about is product manager. Product managers have a critical but high paying role in product supervision right from the start till the end. It may include software development lifecycle too. Generally, product managers design and supervise the task flow for new products and make sure that the workers are well aligned with the due dates. As a product manager, you can earn up to $120,000 a year or more, and you'll need to have skills in managing the product lifecycle. You'll need to have analytical skills. You need to be able to transform user requirements, create a product vision. As far as the software development lifecycle is concerned, it's slightly more technical and may require more expertise. If you want to find out more about the software development lifecycle, check out my video on the subject. I'll leave the link in the description. Next up, we have the software engineer. Software engineers will always be in demand, so it's hard to see an end to this career path. In fact, software engineers are one of the most quickly growing career paths in the United States. Software engineers design, develop, and install software. They'll be building software applications, writing code, and designing user interfaces. For software engineers, the job market doesn't stay limited to the IT sector. In fact, software engineers are widely needed in healthcare, finance, commerce, engineering, and other private and government organizations. There are tens of thousands of software engineering job opportunities available right now, and the number is only expected to go higher, given that the software solutions continue to evolve. As a software engineer, you can earn an annual salary of up to $110,000 and much, much more, depending on your experience and the industry you're working in. The next in-demand tech job I want to touch on is the blockchain engineer. Blockchain is a buzzword in the tech industry these days, so I'm pretty sure that you've heard of it. Blockchain technology is relatively new, so there are immense opportunities in this field, and I would definitely recommend it to a budding software developer and computer scientist. As a blockchain engineer, your role is to work with safety protocol stacks. You will be able to implement digital solutions for organizations because that's what the blockchain engineers do. So your job responsibilities will include the analysis of technological needs of the company, 
creating solutions for tech requirements of the company, and design and develop architectures to support the software solutions. If you're good at your job, you can earn up to $150,000 a year as a blockchain engineer. Next, we have the data scientists. No list of prospective tech careers can be complete without the mention of data science. It's a hot area currently and offers wide scope of implementation and design. Data science is about predictive learning and data analysis, and that's what organizations are looking for. So if you want to try your hand in data sciences, make sure you have skills in calculus and linear algebra, coding and data manipulation, data visualization, deep learning, and machine learning. Most of the data science implementation is done in Python or R, so make sure you have good hands-on experience with one of these languages. With a comprehensive skill set to support data science, you can learn up to 94,000 and more every year. This field has immense potential, and it's estimated that data science has grown 34% in the last four years. Next, we have network admin. Networking jobs are always in demand, and perhaps the most common is the network administrator. Network admins work with LAN and WAN protocols to ensure connectivity, hardware, and software performance, supporting networking, and providing emergency assistance to organizations regarding the networks. To have higher chances of success as a network administrator, you'll need professional certifications like Cisco Network Professionals, Diagnostics, Analytics, and Comprehensive Understanding of IT Businesses. As a network admin, you can earn more than $112,000 per year. Every one of these jobs requires some sort of software development skills, so watch my video on the top 11 books all developers should read now. See you in there.